Today on Inquirer. Former President Fidel V. Ramos was laid to rest Tuesday at the Libingan ng mga bayani. The tomb assigned to Ramos, the 12th chief executive of the country, was beside that of another former president, Elpidio Quirino. Alam nyo, mahirap ang buhay sa military. Pero kinayan namin tumulong si President Ramos, kayang-kaya niya, at he was able to raise five daughters, eight grandsons, and five granddaughters. Mahirap mag-adjust. Dalawang taon nasa bahay siya. Dalawang taon nasa probinsya. Tapos, nag-volunteer pa siya dalawang taon sa Vietnam. Kaya, Maraming salamat sa tulong nyo at sabi niya, kaya natin ito. Maraming salamat. Kaya ba natin? <laughs> Joining the final rites was President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ramos, who served as President of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998, died last July 31 at the age of 94. He is remembered for a number of achievements during his presidency, such as resuscitating the economy, allowing the country to rid itself of the reputation as the sick man of Asia. The Philippine economy expanded less than expected in the second quarter, but at pace still in line with the official 2022 growth target. The country's gross domestic product was 7.4% higher in the June quarter than a year earlier, growing slower than the downwardly revised 8.2% annual rate seen in the previous quarter and the median 8.6% forecast in a Reuters poll. It was the slowest growth in three quarters but the second fastest so far in Asia for the second quarter, Economic Planning Secretary Arsenio Balisacan said. The recent flooding in portions of Taft Avenue due to the southwest monsoon was caused in part by the unfinished pumping stations near the Manila Bay Dolomite Beach, said the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority on Tuesday. In a phone interview with Enquirer.net, MMDA Flood Control Director Baltazar Melgar said that three of the main drainage outposts, the Fora and Remedios drainage systems and the Estero de San Antonio Abad, have been closed due to repairs being conducted by the Department of Public Works and Highways. Sa ngayon, hindi pa kasi tapos yan. So, yun ang ano, mabagal ang pag-subside uh, ng tubig ba? Itong kanyang travel time, eh, malayo eh. Mm -hmm. So, nagkakaroon ng medyo mabagal ang pag-subside ng tubig ba ha dyan. Melgar further clarified that the Manila Bay Dolomite Beach has nothing to do with the repairs which he said were required by the Department of Environment and Natural Resources so that the discharged water from the pumping station that is being repaired by the DPWH will not pollute the Manila Bay. But DPWH Secretary Manuel Bonoan, in an interview over Teleradio, claimed that the unfinished pumping station is partly the cause of the flooding in Taft Avenue and Rojas Boulevard. But no one said they expect the repairs and the additional development to be completed by mid to late September. When asked why it took so long for these measures to be done, but no one cited budgetary constraints, particularly after the DENR added new technical requirements like the sewage treatment plants and the 300-meter long pipelines. NBA star Jordan Clarkson banners the Gilas Pilipinas pool for the fourth window of FIBA Basketball World Cup 2023 Asian qualifiers later this month. Samahang Basketball ng Pilipinas spokesperson and executive director Sonny Barrios bared several names included in the pool during the Philippine Sports Writers Association Forum on Tuesday. Joining Clarkson, the 2021 NBA Sixth Man of the Year are Dwight Ramos, Kiefer Ravenna, 30 Ravenna, Bobby Ray Parks Jr., Francis Lopez, Carl Tamayo, and Kevin Kembao. Barrios did not name the PBA standouts yet, 
with the Philippine Cup semifinals still ongoing. The pool will start training on Monday without Clarkson, who has yet to inform his date of arrival in the Philippines. But the SPP remains optimistic about Clarkson's participation, as the Utah Jazz Guard assured his commitment and expressed his enthusiasm to see action in the fourth window. Gilas faces Lebanon on August 25 in an away match before hosting Saudi Arabia on August 29 at the Mall of Asia Arena. And these are the stories you need to know today. To know more, visit Inquirer.net. I'm Beatriz Pinlac.